Hello, this is Mohamed Kerry, electrical engineer here at Focus. We are eager to offer support for our customers. Today, I'd like to offer an answer to the common question, can you connect multiple solar charge controllers to a single battery bank? Please remember to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any future content from Focus. Now, before I answer that question, I would like to address why networking multiple solar charge controllers may be ideal or even required for some cases. So one common case is for large systems. The required charging current for the battery bank may exceed one single charge controller's current capability. Another reason is a change of system requirements after the installation. For instance, you may have to increase your battery bank because of the addition of system loads. A bigger battery bank would require a bigger charging current. For other systems, it could come down to cost efficiency. It may be cheaper to buy two 20 amp charge controllers instead of one 40 amp solar charge controller. Another common reason may be panels shading for MPPT solar charge controllers. Shading one panel on the first string will affect the output of the second string. In fact, shading one panel on string one is as if another panel on string two is shaded. Focus charge controllers are designed with parallel charging capability. A good rule of thumb is you can wire up to three solar charge controllers in parallel to charge a single battery bank. This is only true assuming some conditions are met. The first condition is making sure that each controller is programmed with the same battery settings. The voltage drop between each controller and the battery bank should be identical and minimal so that every controller measures the same battery voltage. If the controller supports external battery temperature sensing, each sensor should be connected to the battery so that battery temperature compensation results in the same voltage set point for each controller. One unit may switch to the float charging phase earlier than the other units, but this has little to no negative effect on the battery lifetime. All the remaining units in absorption phase will still get to finish their charge cycle. It's important to note that each controller should have its own separate PV array, even if the specifications are different from each other. In fact, one controller could be providing more or less current than the other controllers as long as each PV array meets the specifications of each controller it's connected to. That's all for today. We hope you have found this information valuable. If you have any technical or sales questions, we will offer links for support below. For more videos and information, go to www.focus.com. Focus, making reliable energy access possible. Anywhere, anytime, any grid.